let's review. We have three functions here. There's a function f on this poster, a function g on this poster, and a function h on this poster. The actual y value, the algebra question, when x is exactly equal to 4, the y value is 3. So we write f of 4 equals 3. Here's the algebra question here. g of 4 is equal to 1. So when the x value is exactly 4, y is equal to 1. And the exact y value when exactly when x is exactly equal to 4, well, what that, that notation is h of 4. What about h of 4? There is no y value. So h of 4, d and e, does not exist. Nevertheless, the limit question, so those are the algebra questions. The limit question, which is up here, this, that, this, these calculus questions, which are circled, should be answered without lifting the ribbon. What you're doing is trying to look at what happens to the y value as you get close to the x value 4. 